ta si dia su, je ni hito do tele masu, ovo se nure nove kaj bi dizijes. Do nato ni monta ne vključujem, do osim in simirom. Kaj pa si min, da obelimo daj mon, ojske mi sa firme, da so vrede si mon, ker mi se ne isi masi spirez mon. Alarise ima da poniru. Dobrati Vasilija, ke i gilmi ki do oksa, tu patros, ke tu viju, ke tu viju pneba, tu šmin ke aji, ke i su se ona, so ne ono. Amin. Σω σον κύριε τον λαόν σου και ευλόγησον την κληρονομία σου, νίκα τη βασιλεύση και τα βαβάρων δωρούμενο, και του των φυλάτων διά του σταυρού σου πολύτιμα, δόξα πατρί και ιό και αίω πνεύματι, ο εψωθή εν του σταυρού εκουσίω, τη φωνή μου σου χανή πολιτεία, του εκτερμού σου δόρισε Χριστέ ο Θεό, έφραναν εν την δυνάμει σου του πιστού βασιλεί Σιμών, νίκα χορηγών αυτή κατά το πολεμίον. Την σημα έχειν, έχειν την συν όπλων ειρήνη τα ήτου των τρόπεων. Την ίν και αή και εις τους αιώνους των αιώνων αμήν. Προσθεσία φοβερά και άχατε έσχυντε μη παρήγης αγαθή της εκκλησίας ημών πανήμη τη θεοτόκε. Στήριξον ορθοδόξον πολιτείαν σώζει ους εκτέρευσες βασιλεύειν και χουρίγει αυτή ης ουρενόθεν την ίχνη. Διότι έτε και στον Θεόν μόνο ευλογημένοι. Έμβρος Θεόν ας αγκάρ, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Λέησον Κύριε, λέησον Κύριε, λέησον. Ο δεβάτε νόητε τα Χριστιά. Κύριε, λέησον Κύριε, λέησον Κύριε, λέησον. Αρχίσε και ράσιμος, and all our brotherhood in Christ. Κύριε, λέησον Κύριε, λέησον Κύριε, λέησον. Ο loving God, and to you give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Lord, the holy and consubstantial and life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do you do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him in his God. But you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God. For you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity with you. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger. For your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery. I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my de desire is before you, and my groaning is not hid from you. My heart is troubled. My strength fails me. In the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand afar off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil from me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who does and has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope. <coughs> you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me. For when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually within me. For I will declare my transgressions, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live, and are become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed, give heed to my help, O Lord of my salvation. 
Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts to you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as if with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips full with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand hold, takes hold of me. But they, but they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God. All who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. <clears throat> Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, <coughs> both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Kyrie Othos Tsotirias Mus, imera se te kalekta ke nikien andion shu. Isel te to enopion shu prosefimu, kinon to usu isne dichimu, o te blisti kakoni psichimu e ke izoimu to abi igise. Shos se logisir me zato ke te venondon izlakon e genitin o si anthropos avoititos ene Christo elepteros. Ως τραυματία καθεύδοντες εν τάφο, ο νουκε μίστης έτη και αυτοί της ηρώσου απότισαν. Εθενόν δόμεν λάχο κατ' το άτο και εν σκοτεινής και εν σκιά θανάτου, επέ με επεστηρίχει ο τιμός και πάντα στους μετερίουρμούς σου επίγαγες επέ με. Εμάκρυνας του γνωστούρ μου απέ μου, εθενόν δόμε βρέγγιμα εαυτής, παρεδότεν και ούκο εξυπορευόμεν. Οι οφθαλμοί μου στέγησαν από πτωχίας, εγέκρα μη τη νεκρήσει πει στα μάσια οι γιατροί αναστήσουν και εξομοδέσαι. Μη τη γίνεται έτσι εν το τάφο το ελαιό σου και την αλήθεια σου εν διαπόλια. Μη γνωρίζετε εν το σκόλτα θα μασιά σου και η διοικοσύνη σου εν γη επιλεγμένη. Καγό προσέ, κύριε και καξά και το πρωί που σε φύγει μου προφτάσε. Ή να τι κύριε από τη ψυχή μου, αποστρέψει το πρόσωπό σου απ' εμού. Το φω ημίγο και εν κόπη εκνεωτητό μου, υψωθεί δε ταπεινώθεν και εξυπονήθεν. Επεμέδη ήλθον οι οργέ σου, οι φοβερεσμοί σου εξαταλαξάνε. Εγυκλωσάν με ω είδωρο όλη την ημέρα αν περιέσχουν με άμα. Εμάχνε σαν πεμού φίλων και πλησίων και του γνωστού μου από τα λεπορία. Κύριε ο Θεό τη οτηρία μου, η μέρα σε κέκρισα και νυχτή εναντίον σου. Ει σε θέτω ενωπιόν σου η προσευχή μου, κλείνον το ούσου ει την δεσί μου. Bless the Lord of my soul and everything within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his rewards. Who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all who are wronged, who made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the end, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven, from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how he formed us, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain, and shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him and his righteousness upon children's <coughs> children to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength to do his word so as to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Και μη σέλθει κρίση μετά του δούλου σου, ότι ούδη και ουθίζεται ενώπιόν σου φάζω. 
Ότι κατά δίευξεων εχθώ την ψυχή μου, εταπίνω στην υγιή τη ζωή μου, εκατσέ με σκοτεινήσει ω νεκρού αιώνο. Και η κυρία σε ανεπεμέ το πνεύμα μου, εν εμεί εταράχτη καρδία μου. Εμεί οι ημερών αρχαίων εμελέτησα, εν πάση τη έργη σου, εν πείμα στον καιρό σου εμελέτω. Διεπέτασα προ έτα χείρα μου. Η ψυχή μου ω γη ανιδρώση, ταχύ, σαν ξόν με κύριε, εξέλιπε το πνεύμα μου. Μη αποστρέψει το πρόσωπό σου από μου και ομιθήσω με τι κατεβαίνου τη νησλάχου. Ακουστών πίσω μη το πρωί το ελαιό σου, ότι επισή ήλπισα. Γνώρισε όμοι, κύριε Οδόν, εν υπορεύσομαι ότι προσέ ήρα την ψυχή μου. Εξελούμε τον εχθρό μου, κύριε, προ τα κατέπηγο. Διδαξόμε του πριν το θέλημά σου, ότι σύγει ο Θεό μου. Το πνεύμα σου αγαθών οδηγήσει με γη ευθεία, ένε και του ονοματό σου, κύριε, ζήσει με. Εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου εξάξει τη θλίψη την ψυχή μου. Και εν το ελέη σου εξολαθρεύσει του εχθρού μου. Και απολύσει πάντα στου κλείβοντα την ψυχή μου, ότι εγώ δούλο σου εμεί. Η σαξόν μου κύριε εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη σε έλθει κρίση μέσα στο δούλο σου. Η σαξόν μου κύριε εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου και μη σε έλθει κρίση μέσα στο δούλο σου. Το πνεύμα σου το αγαθόν οδηγήσει με ενγύη ευθεία. Δόξα πατρί και ιό και αγιο πνεύματι και νυν και αή και στόνο στον οναμήν. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σου ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σου ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σου ο Θεό. Σωτηρίε των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε. Κύριε Λέισον, έρθει η ειρήνη του σήμαντο κόσμου. <coughs> Εστασία των Αγίων του Σικουσιών και τη των πάντων ενό έω του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε. Κύριε Λέισον, έρθει ο Ιούκου τούτου και του μεταβιστέω ευλαβία και φόβου Θεού Σιών έναν αυτό του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε. Κύριε Λέισον, Most the honorable priesthood, the deacons in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Our country, the president, and all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and this parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Gently weather abundance of the goods of the earth. And for a peaceful time, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Travel by land, sea, and air for those who are sick or suffering or in captivity, and for their safekeeping, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. For all affliction, wrath, danger, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy on us and keep us, O God, in Your grace. Kyrie eleison. Every our most holy, pure, blessed. Blessed and glorious Lady, the Dios of Christ, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another, and our whole life to Christ, our God. To you, O Lord, glory, honor, and worship are your due, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Pedro, tis anastase os kerigma, ecu angelu makuze tu kiriu mathetrie. Και την προβολική να πόπαση να απορρίψασε. Τη αποστολή καφόμενε λεγό. Έτσι κυλεύτε ο θάνατο. Η γέρτη Χριστό ο Θεό. 
δορούμενος το κόσμο το μεγα to God by your grace. Kyrie eleison. O holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, holy Theotokos, save us. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 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 And yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. an immortal Savior from the netherworld, and with yourself you also raised your world. 
by your resurrection, O Christ our God. Mightily you shattered the power of death, O Master. Merciful Lord, you show to all the resurrection. Therefore we glorify you, only benevolent God. Dogio patrigi o jeju pneumati, et tonano kate zon, ton ipsoma ton gavri, keti petra ton celdo, eta i petra ti zoi, plevki mono non ekrauga zetes kutleuses, pavtas te imis ki zinogus kapgis te husai. Sebastian, Orgazite, Ten Cleuse, Tarsite, Or Salitos, Exegirte, Io Boate, Tis Apostolis, O Tianesti, O Kirio. Now and ever unto the age of ages, Amen. O pure Virgin, all the hosts of holy angels were amazed at the awesome. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the myrrh-bearing women had come with their spices to your sepulcher, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he is risen from the sepulcher. <laughs>
to the Lord. And protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with holy all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The myrrh-bearing women hurry to declare the matter of your paradoxical rising to your apostles. <coughs> o Christ, that you rose as God and granted to the world the great mercy. could sadden them. Vloxa patrike yo ke yo pnamati. Kenin ke yi ke zonos ten onu na men. Hai yi yo pnamati anavlizita tis khari ton ritra aze ponta apazan tin tisin prozomonian. Let my heart be lifted up to you O Logos and let none of Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. Anasta kirie boitson imin kelitro seimas ene kentis doxis tu onomazosu. O God, we heard with our ears. Arise, O Lord, help us and redeem us because of the glory of your name. Amen. He who saved and rescued me has resurrected from the tomb and bonds of death those born on earth, for he is God. He smashed the gates of the netherworld, and on the third day he rose, and the Lord and he rose as the Lord of all. And he rose, rose as the Lord of all. Christ is the giver of life. He rose from the dead in the tomb. On the third day, he smashed the gates of death with his might today. He neutralized Hades and crushed the sting of death, and he freed Adam and Eve. Let all of us born on earth earnestly sing and praise him with gratitude, for he is our one and mighty God. 
And on the third day he rose as the Lord of all. And on the third, third day, day he rose as the Lord of all. In the height of self-control, the Lord has placed you as the true, unerring star, illuminating all the earth and also guiding us to the light as our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. As our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. You have rendered yourself God's true abode, O oh Father, by your divine virtue, adorning it lucidly as with gold that glitters from afar. <coughs> we set forth faith, hope, and true charity as divine axioms. As with angelic self-control, you practice prudence, courage, and temperance. You acquired humility by which you were exalted. Hence, you were enlightened by prayer and failing, and you attained the mansions of heaven. As our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. As our professor and mentor, O oh Father John. On April 14th, we commemorate the Holy Apostles of the Seventy, Aristarchus, Pudens, and Trophimos. On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Martyr Ardalion the Mime. <coughs> On this day, we also commemorate the Holy Woman Martyr Tomais. On this day was the contest in martyrdom of the Holy <coughs> Neo Martyr Demetrius of the Peloponnesus, who was from Le Legu Legudista, Trifilia, and who died by the sword in Tripoli in the year 1803. On this day, the fourth Sunday of Lent, <clears throat> we commemorate our devout father John, author of the latter. John was dead in the flesh while living, ever <coughs> lived, while appearing to be dead and not breathing. He left us his book, The Ladder for Ascending, and shows us the way of his ascent to heaven. By his intercessions, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. <laughs> Sing to her merrily, lauding her miracles. Establish your servant to extol you. O Mother of God, for they have formed a spiritual choir for you. The living and abundant fount, and graciously in your divine glory, give glory is crowned to them. Sober-minded believers, come and celebrate the sacred and venerable feast, and thus extol the Theotokos, and clap your hands, and glory to our God, who was truly born of her. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. Guiltless were those servants in the furnace, the son of the Theotokos who rescued them, he who was prefigured then, having been incarnate now, is gathering the whole wide world into his church to sing. Oh, all you works of the Lord to the ages, sing praises to the Lord and exalt him beyond measure. 
of the Lord. You are God are holy, and you rest among the holy ones that you offer up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he has destroyed death. By death. Nay, Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be judged in your words and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins my mother bore me. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall Don't make me bear joy and gladness. My bones that were humble shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Rejoice. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. sacrifice I would give it to you will not be pleased with whole burnt offering. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Yeah, it's all. 
Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the abundance of your compassion, <coughs> blot out my transgression. When I ponder in my wretchedness on the many terrible things that I have done, I Don't spring to this army, scatter the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, you without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Lord, 
Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. And bring our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. All the powers of heaven praise you to you, we up the offer of glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy is the Lord our God. Ipsute Kyrion ton Theonimon, ke proskinite ton ipodion ton podon aftu. To fulfill among them his judgment, this glory have all his holy ones. You endured the cross for you endured the cross and death, and you rose from the dead. O oh, Almighty Lord, we glorify your resurrection. the foe. Since you have risen from the dead, reach out your hand and raise us who have fallen into sin. Benevolent Lord, at the intercessions of your saints. Praise them with the sound of the trumpet, praise them with the harp and lyre. Humanity. Now without change became man, and in the flesh you endured the cross and death, remaining impassable in divinity. As the only Almighty Lord, you rose from the dead, and you granted immortality to the human. 
Ενίτε αυτόν εν την πάνω και χωρένίτε αυτόν εν κορδές και οργάνω Πάτερ Ιωάννιος Ιε Ια παντός ο λιθός του Θεού εν το λάραν λάριγγι Τάσο ύψος έφερες μελετών πρακτικότατα Τα Θεό νευστά λόγια πάν σοφέρ και την εκείθην αναπηγάζουσαν χάριν έι πλούτησας γεγονός μακάριος των ασεβών πάντων τα βουλεύματα καταστρεψάμενος. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. He will delight exceedingly in his commandments. Holy Father John, most glorious, you shed a wellspring of tears, and your soul thus was purified. You propitiated God by your standing in prayer all night. Thus given wings, you ascended to his love and to his beauty, all blessed as you are, which now you worthily are enjoying blendlessly as you rejoice with your fellow athlete monks, O godly minded saint. <laughs> Ευελίξω το άστατο και τον σταυρό σου αναλαβόμενο το πανεπόντι. Κάτι κολούθησα σώμα δυσυνείων. Αγούγε σα κίσε ω καλογισμό. Ξενίδουλο αμένο του τύπου του δύο πέματο.
υπερευλογημένη υπάρχεις θεωτώ και παθαίνε στη άγα του εξουσαρκωθέντος ο Άδης σιγμαλώτησε ο Αδάμ ανακέφητε η κατάρα νεκρότε η Εύα ηλευθέρωτε ο θάνατος δεν θανάτωτε και εμείς εζωπήγης δημέν διό Ευλογητός Χριστός ο Θεός ημών, ο ούτος ευδοχής σας δόξα
Great doxology concludes the matin service, and we continue with the <coughs> service found on page three of the Divine Liturgy books. Even though this is the, we are celebrating the, the, the liturgy of St. Basil, the structure is essentially the same. So you can follow the entire liturgy with the book beginning with Blessed is the Kingdom on page three. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls. Let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all. Let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, Reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop, Yanassimos, the Venerable Priesthood, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For the President of our country, for those in civil authority, for our armed forces and all the American nation, let us pray to the Lord. For this city and for every city and country and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Yeah. For those at sea and those who travel by land or air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves in one another and all our life to Christ our God. Sing O Lord our God, whose dominion is inconceivable, whose glory is incomprehensible, whose mercy is infinite, whose love for mankind is ineffable. O Master, in your tender compassion, look down upon us, upon this holy house, and grant us and those who pray with us your abundant mercies and compassions. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages. Of ages. Bless the Lord of my soul, and everything within me bless his holy name. And his okay, kingdom right, right. rules over all. Just as we as his demands. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Just as we as his
Ετικέτη εν ειρήνη του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμε. Αντιλαβούς όσων ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της η χάρητη. Της Παναγίας Αχράντου υπευλογημένης εν δόξου της ποινής ημών Θεοτόκου και η Παρθενό Μαρίας, με τα πάντων των Αγίων που μνηνεύσαντες, για αυτούς και ελλήλους και πάσαν την ζωήν ημών, Χριστό το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Ότι σ' το κράτος και σου έστει βασιλεία και δίνμης και δόξα του Πατρός και του Υιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και ίσως αιώνας των αιώνων. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. God of Zion to all generations. So And in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. And memorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves in one another and all our life to Christ our God. O God, our good and loved mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
disciples of the Lord and learn from the angel the joyful message of the resurrection and rejected the ancestral decision. They cried aloud to the apostles triumphantly. Death has been despoiled. Christ our from deep within you made your labors bear fruits a hundredfold and you became a star illuminating the world by your miracles oh john our devout father intercede with christ our god for the salvation of our souls. Champion General, I your city now inscribe to you. I offer anthems as the tokens of my gratitude. Being rescued from the terrors of the Kinds of perils free me so that unto you I may cry aloud. Rejoice, O unwedded bride. Let us pray to the Lord. God are holy, and to you we ascribe glory. To the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
let us be attentive. <clears throat> o Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. Wisdom. The reading is from the Holy Apostle Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore to himself, saying, Surely I will bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Men indeed swear by a greater than themselves, and in all their disputes an oath is final for confirmation. So when God desired to show more convincing to to you the reader Άνθρωπος της προσήθε το Ιησού λέγον διδάσκαλε ίνεγαν τον Υιόν μου προσέ έχουνε πνεύμα άλλαλον και όπου αυ, απ αυτό, αν αυτόν καταλάβει ρίσε αυτόν και αφρίζει και τρίζει τους οδόντας αυτού και εξηραίνεται είπεν τους τις μαθητές σου είναι αυτό εκβαλ, εκβάλωση και, και, και ουκ ίσχυσαν ο δε αποκριθείς αυτό λέγει όχι είναι άπιστος έω πότε προς ημάς έσομε έως πότε ανέξομε ημών φέρετε αυτόν προς με είναι για αυτόν προς αυτόν και δόν αυτόν ευθέως το πνεύμα εσπάραξαν αυτόν και πεσόν επί της γης εκειλίετο αφρίζον και επιρώτησε τον πατέρα αυτού πόσος χρόνος εστίνε ως τούτο έγκρον αυτό ο δε είπε παιδιώθεν και πολλάκησε αυτόν και εις πυρ έβαλε και εις, εις είδατα ή να πολέσει αυτόν αλλή τι δύνατε βοήθησον ημίν φλακτηθείς αφημάς ο δε Ιησούς ο δε Ιησούς είπεν αυτό το ενδύνατε, πιστεύς, πιστεύετε πάντα δύνατα, δύνατα το πιστεύοντι. Και ευθέως κράξας ο πατήρ του παιδίου με τα δακρύων έλεγεν, πιστεύω Κύριε, βοήθημη τη απιστία. Ιδόν δε ο Ιησούς ότι επί συντρέχει όχλος επετίμησε το πνεύμα τι το ακαθάρτο λέγον αυτό, το πνεύμα το άλλον και κοφών εγώ σοι επιτάσω. Έξεθε εξ αυτού και μικέτη εις αίτης εις αυτόν. Και κράξαν και πολλά σπαράξαν αυτόν εκ, εκ, εξήρθε και γένετο ως η νεκρός, ότι πολλούς λέγει ότι απέθανεν. Ο δε Ιησούς κρατήσας αυτόν ισχύρος, ισχυρός ήγεναν αυτόν και ανέστη. Και εις εθόντα αυτόν εις οίκον οι μαθητέ αυτού επιρώτων αυτόν κατηδίαν ότι εμείς ουκ ειδυνηθήθημεν εκβαλήν αυτό. Και είπαν αυτοίς, τούτο χειδογένος στην ουδή δίνεται εξερθήν η μη εντροσεφή και νηστεία. Και εκεί ήθελαν εξερθώντες περαιπορεύοντο δια της Γαλλίας και ουκ ήθελαν είναι της γνώ. Και δίσκες δίδασκε εγκάρ τους μαθητάς αυτού και έλεγαν αυτοίς ότι, ότι ο Υιός του ανθρώπου παραδίδονται εις χείρες ανθρώπων και αποτεκτείνωσαν αυτόν και ακοταθήσαν την τρίτη ημέρα ημέρα. The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, let us be attentive. At that time, a man came to Jesus kneeling and saying, Teacher, I brought my son to you. 
for he has a dumb spirit. And wherever it seizes him, it dashes him down. And he foams and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. And I asked your disciples to cast him out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. And they brought the boy to him, and when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, How long has he had this? And he said, From childhood. And it has often cast him into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can to do anything, have pity on us and help us. And Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said, I believe, help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw that a crowd came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit and say, saying to it, You deaf, dumb and deaf spirit, I command you come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and convulsing him terribly, it came out and the boy was like a corpse, so that most of them said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up and he rose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this kind cannot be driven out by anything but prayer and fasting. They went on from there and passed through Galilee, and he would not have anyone know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man will be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And when he is killed, after three days he will rise. Good morning. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God. These are Jesus' final days before entering Jerusalem where, as we heard in the Gospel of Mark, they will kill him, and after he is killed, he will rise on the third day. Jesus has just come down from Mount Tabor after experiencing his transfiguration. His ascent to the mountaintop is always behind him, and his descent down from the mountain means he is always meeting us in our brokenness. He was always condescending to be with us. But there's no soft landing back to an earthly reality for Jesus. As a father in anguish immediately confronts him, no sooner does Jesus come down from the mountaintop, no sooner does he have a modest degree of respite, he encounters a demon-possessed child and his disciples inability to heal him. He encounters the harrowing, gut-wrenching cries of a desperate father who, after his initial plea, only hears all things are possible to him who believes. But father who is now beyond desperation, perhaps on the verge of giving up entirely, hurls at Jesus a final plea, I believe, help my unbelief. So we are that desperate parent yearning to believe, but lost in a sea of travail, often losing our way and at a loss on how to deepen our relationship with Christ. Thus, this journey we call Great Lent takes a profound significance 
in helping our unbelief by refreshing our memory. So speaking of memories, my dad lived through the Great Depression and was a veteran of World War II. He was a member of what Tom Brokaw called the greatest generation. He had a staunch work ethic at a very young age and stuck to it his whole life. He was what we used to, what was used to be called a jack of all trades, perhaps, perhaps even a workaholic. But some of that work ethic rubbed off on me. My first job was at age 10, helping my dad at Saturdays at Jim's Coffee Shop. Over the years at the coffee shop, regular customers offered me other jobs, parking lot attendant, selling shoes, counting Levi jeans, to name a few. Through college, I helped run the family restaurant and learned the true meaning of fringe benefits. There were many nights after studying at Cal that I found my way to the Olympia Hofbra that my family owned after closing for a roast beef sandwich. I never told my parents, but I would also take my friends, Greek friends, and some college classmates for those late night forays. They were more willing to accompany me. After all, it was a half bra, and there was a keg always available. And we were starving students. But I digress. I managed to finish college with a degree in soil science. Landed a job with the Forest Service. There was one problem. Though I had a degree in a specialized field called soil science, I didn't know the first thing about trees. In fact, I didn't know the difference between hardwoods and softwoods. I kid you not. What was I going to do? I just landed a very lucrative permanent government job, and I had to learn the difference between a Douglas fir and a black oak. And I had to learn fast. Fortunately, I was hired in June, and several forestry students had been hired as interns for the summer jobs. So you can bet I latched on to those students as advocates and prayed I would learn something practical about forestry before my boss found out. As Christians, we have also have adv advocates in the faith. At the consecration of the holy gifts and the liturgy, we pray for vigilance of our soul and for those who repose in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is our common vocation, our common pursuit, our common goal as we intensify during Lent to those who have gone ahead as righteous spirits made perfect. We too are called to be perfect in faith. And we can start today. It's never too late. One of the hymns from this past Wednesday night's pre-sanctified liturgy was as follows. The fast that yields blessings is now at its midpoint, having in the days past been acceptable and promising benefits in the days yet to come. So now that we are slightly past the midpoint of Lent, we ask ourselves, what are these promised blessings yet to come? In the remaining weeks of the fast, our most important pursuit is what our patriarch refers to as the arena of the virtues. Indeed, all of us are invited, expected, to engage in this pursuit. He says, all who wish to struggle for the prize, who, to enter, girding ourselves for the noble contest of the fast, with the ultimate goal being rational communion with God. This communion with God is primarily hindered by our shutting up within ourselves, our self-sufficiency, our introverted behavior, our egocentrism, our arrogance, the Pharisaic mask of self-justification and self-satisfaction. But this communion, he says, is enhanced by the opening of our heart toward our fellow human beings, by love, charity, compassion, sympathy, humility, and by the sense that we need the presence of the other in our life. So communion with God is not some lofty spiritual goal reserved for super spiritual people. Communion with God is for those who are sick. Luke 5, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. We are all sick, and our great physician beckons us to this otherworldly health clinic, the church. We are all sick and dying, and let's be honest, the only antidote is God's perfect love. So beautifully described by St. John in chapter 4 of his first epistle. 
Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. He first loved us, and all we have to do is respond to him. Tragically, many of us often misunderstand this response as stretching or striving to attain so-called spiritual goals that have little to do with communion with God. In fact, a simple reach of faith will do. But don't look for God's kingdom out there. That would be a terrible mistake. Luke reminds us in chapter 17, now when he was asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, see here or see there. For indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. So speaking of a simple reach of faith, how many of you know what it means to reach for the brass ring? How many of you have actually ridden that Mario? merry-go-round or carousel and reached for the brass ring. I once asked a group of clergy and was not a little surprised to find out I was perhaps the only one old enough to have have actually been on such a merry-go-round. I remember, and some of you may remember, Playland in San Francisco. It was there along the beach and I, I was scared to go there because there was this huge laughing lady and she scared me but I wanted to go and experience the carousel. And the origin of the expression going for the brass ring goes back to Coney Island, the biggest carousel at the time in the world. Next to the carousel was a pole to which was attached a rectangular box which contained these rings. And all were black, but every tenth one was brass. And if you grabbed that one, you got a free ride for kids. It was the height of success, a free ride on the carousel. So as we continue our Lenten journey, let's reach a little further for that ring, that brass ring, which fortunately, by God's grace, are all brass. This Lent, let us all reach more strenuously for the prize which awaits us in that heavenly arena of virtues, the prize which will ignite our hearts and minds with the paschal joy, which is beyond understanding. Kali Anastasi. O oh God, you have visited our lowliness and mercy and compassion. You have set us, your lowly, sinful, and worthy servants, to serve at your holy altar with, before, your holy, before your holy glory. Strengthen us for this service with the power of your Holy Spirit, and grant speech to our lips that we may invoke the grace of your Holy Spirit upon the gifts that are about to be offered. That ever guarded by your power, we may give you glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
flesh of Christ. Πάντων ημών νηστή, Κύριος ο Θεός, η Βασιλεία αυτού, πάντοτε νυν και αή και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. Amen. May the Lord our God remember you all in his kingdom now and forever and to the ages of ages. We'll remember your priesthood. Let us complete our supplication to the Lord. Amen. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. For this whole day, that it may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. 
get a good and profitable to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remainder of our lives in peace and penitence, let us ask the Lord. our lives may be Christian without pain, blameless and peaceful, and for a good account at the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us have. Sa grandu i pero doki mani sen doksu des pinisimo teoto ku kei prathro Marias meta pam don to na gium ni mon el sandes e aftus ke alilus ke pas tan tinzo ini mon Christo to feo para tho meta. Ya to niktien ma to mane genusu yo meto blagi tosi. Sindo panagi o gagathox dopio supne matin in ke ai ke istu se o nas tone o no. Irini pasi peace be to all. Let us have love for one another that with one mind we may confess. Αστήρας, αστήρας, εν σοφία πρόσκομεν. Τον δήμα σου ανθρώπου και διάκει η μετέρα σωτηρία κατεθόντα των ουρανών και σαρκωθέντα κνεύματο Αγίου και Μαρία Παρθένου και ένα σωτήρα. Σταυροθέντα τα επεριμών επί ποδίου πυλά και παθόντα και τα πέντα. Και αναστάντα την τρίτη μέρα κατά τα σγραφά. Χανεθόντα στου ουρανού και καθιζόμενων ενδεξιών του πατρό. Και πάλι νεφόμενο με τα δόξη κρίνεζόντα και νεκρού ούτη βασιλεία ούτε αστυτέρου. Και ει το πνεύμα του Άγιου, το κύριο των Ζωπιών, το εκ του πατό εκπορευόμενο, το συμπατρί και ιώσι προσκυνούμενο και συντοφιζόμενο των Αλίσταν δια των προφητών. Ει μία αναγία, καθολική και αποστολική εκκλησία, ομολογώ εν βάπτισμα εσά των Αλίσταν, προ το φανάστασι νεκρών και ζωή του μέλλοντο αιώνο αμήν. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate in the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to the judge, the living and the dead. His kingdom shall know no end. In the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand in all. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Amen.
moment has got me us that has slipped up our hearts. Yeah, come here, please. Let us give thanks to the Lord. Singing, exclaiming, proclaiming the triumphal hymn and say. Gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body, which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Likewise, taking the cup of the fruit of the vine, mixing it, giving thanks, blessing, and sanctifying it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. <laughs> Toi perimon ke polon ne kilo menon isa pesin amartio. this in remembrance of me, for whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we, as we too remember his saving sufferings, a life-giving cross, the three days in the tomb, the resurrection from the dead, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at your right hand, God and Father, and his glorious and awesome second coming. O God, grace to be a sinner, mercy upon me, a fierce God, sin, Catapanda que via pando. Thus it is most Bless the Holy Bread. Amen. Father, bless the Holy Cup. Amen. Father, bless both of you. Amen. Especially for our most holy, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary.
Great is the name of the Holy Trinity, always now and forever, the ages of ages. Amen. Above all, remember, O Lord, our Archbishop Gerasimus, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace, keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, to write and teach the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us has in mind, and all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart, we may glorify and praise your most exalted and majestic name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, shall be with all of you. Amen. Having remembered all the saints again in
I was going to ask for a volunteer to climb the ladder, but my wife said, don't you dare. <laughs> OK. OK. Well, maybe, maybe the, this little one go, just go on the first long, uh, just on the first rung. Don't climb to the top. <laughs> this is the fourth Sunday of Lent, and we're remembering something, someone very special. His name is St. John of the Ladder. He wrote, he wrote a book. Over here, honey. Okay, just stand up. Don't go up there, okay? Just stand right there. He wrote a book and described 30 steps to get to heaven. And at the end of the 30 steps is what? Love and humility. What does that mean? Love and humility? It means that we thank God, we thank him for everyone around us, and we need to avoid what's called pride, right? And so every time you avoid pride, you go up a little higher. One more step. <laughs> my, wife will, my wife will kill me. And these, the latter is meant to remind us our destination. We want to be back in heaven, and remember in our church we have the dome, and in the dome is Jesus, the Pandocrator, which means the ruler over all things. And so the ladder is meant for us to climb. But as we get higher and higher, it gets more difficult because the world wants to bring us down. The world wants to say, what are you doing up there? Why are you worried about going to see God? God is down here. God is with us. And so the world will, t will give us temptations will say, don't worry about where God is. Come down to earth. Stay, with, stay down here on earth where we can have each other, we can have fun with each other. Okay? So the latter, as you get higher and higher, remember to be humble. Remember to always depend on Jesus. And be forgiving of one another. And so the monks that were reading this manual, reading this guidebook to get to heaven, would get up higher and they would forget to be humble. They would forget to pray for their brothers and sisters. And you know what happened? The icon, if you look at the icon in the back, of, in the narthex of the church, it shows them falling off the ladder and going not just down to earth, but down to a very sad place. So, as you climb the ladder, always look to Jesus. Always look up and lift up your prayers. And always be assured that you will not fall off as long as you keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on him, and he will gather you up. And remember, as you're looking at him and searching for him, don't let the world say, don't worry about Jesus. Come down here. That's what the world wants you to think. But be, be loving and be humble and be forgiving, and you'll take the next step up the ladder. Okay? Okay, come down. I want you to be safe. God bless you. Please rise. Go ahead. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our loving God, having accepted them at his holy and mystical altar in heaven as an offering of spiritual fragrance, will in turn send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Amen. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. Amen. Pater Kelegin, Patrimon, O Indis Uranis, Ayas Kitotono Masu, El Feto Vasiliasu, Genetito Tatelli Masu, 
Ostern und Nonn gibt es Jesus. Den Alten im Mond und den Büschern, das gibt es immer an. Gäbe es im Mond, auf jeden Fall im Mond. Alles gibt es auf jeden Fall, das auf jeden Fall ist im Mond. Gäbe es im Mond, das auf jeden Fall ist im Mond. Alle Risse im Mond, auf jeden Fall ist im Mond. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. The kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Peace be to all. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit. Now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place in the throne of glory of your kingdom. Come sanctify us. You sit above with the Father. Yet there is a present among us. Let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand through us to all the people. O God, grace to me, the sinner, and mercy for me. O Dios, and see you to me. O God, grace to me, the sinner, have mercy upon me. Pros comen tagia tisagis, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Elisete.
brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me, a sinful and unworthy priest. Behold, I approach Christ, our Lord and God, the holy body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who given unto me to Timothy, the unworthy presbyter, to remission of my sins and for life everlasting. Behold, Christ is in our midst, was, is, and shall be. Τα φόβου Θεού, πίστεως και αγάπης, προσέλθε τε with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. The servant of God. Body and blood of Christ. The servant of God. This is body and blood of Christ. Body for lasting. The servant of God. Oh, 
God, Gabriel, because of God, he put a price. We see the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of person, the life everlasting. Amen. Yes, the servant of God. What's your name? Magdalene. We see the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of person, for life everlasting. The servant of God. What's your name? Anna. We see the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of person. The servant of God. So we receive the precious body and blood of Christ the remission of her sins and for life everlasting. So we got the money, so we receive the precious body and blood of Christ the remission of her sins for life everlasting. Amen. The servant of God. Isaac receives the precious body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ for the remission of her sins. Of Servant of God, Lord, who sees the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins. The servant of God, Constantine, who sees the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins. Life everlasting. The servant of God, Leonidas, who sees the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins. The servant of God, Demetrius, who sees the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins. God, Nicholas, receives the precious body and blood of Christ. Servant of God, Angelus, the body and blood of Christ. Servant of God, Sophia, receives the precious body and blood of Christ. God, Nicholas, receives the body and blood of Christ. God, we will need us to receive the precious body and blood of Christ for the mystery of the sin. Son of God, Maria, we receive the precious body and blood of Christ for the mystery of her sin. The last thing we need. Son of God, Maria, we receive the precious body and blood of Christ for the mystery of her sin. The last thing we need. God, Demetrius, we receive the precious body and blood of Christ for the mystery of her sin. God and Muha, body and blood of God, Andreas, we see the precious body and blood of Christ. God, Thomas, we see the precious body and blood of Christ. Amen. Son of 
God. You want to receive your precious body and blood of Christ for the mission of Christ. God, Alexander receives her precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins and for life everlasting. Amen. Servant of God, Maria receives her precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of her sins and life everlasting. Amen. Servant of God, Jude receives her precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins and life everlasting. Amen. God, Demetrius receives her precious body and blood of Christ. Servant of God, body and blood of Christ, sins and everlasting. Servant of God, God, I precious body and blood of Christ. Servant of God, the Afanea receives the precious body and blood of Christ. Servant of God, and the worthy acolyte receives the precious body and blood of Christ. His sin and life for us. Servant of God, he is anti the body and blood of Christ. Servant of God, Joanna receives the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of her sins and life for us. Amen. God, Vasilius receives the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins. Maria receives the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of her sins and life for the Servant of God, Sam receives the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of her sins and life for the Servant of God, Anna receives the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of her sins and life for the Dimitri receives the precious body and blood of Christ for the remission of his sins and life for the Body and blood of Christ, and her sins and life everlasting. God Anastasius receives her precious body and blood of Christ, and her sins and life everlasting. Amen. God Christopher receives her precious body and blood of Christ, and her sins and life everlasting. Amen. Servant of God, Maria receives her precious body and blood of Christ, and her sins and life everlasting. God, then he speaks the precious body of the Christ. Servant of God, body of the Christ. Servant of God, Mauricio, he speaks the precious body of the Christ. For the remission of his sins, for life everlasting. Servant of God, Philip. Son of Theos, to Laon, to give Lord, you to think little, no me, and to save, O oh God, your people, and bless your inheritance.
Father, we exalt in the heavens. His glory is over the entire earth. God is exalted in heavens, his glory is over the entire earth. God exalted in the heavens, his glory is over the entire earth. Blessed is our God. Now and always and forever and ever. Let us be attentive. Having received the divine, holy, pure, immortal life, giving us awesome the mysteries of Christ, let us fitting give fitting thanks to the Lord. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Amen. Having asked that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and free of sin, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. You are sanctification, and to you is ascribe glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray, let us depart in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church and sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Do you glorify them by your divine power and forsake not us who set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, always now and forever into the ages of ages. time the church offers memorial prayers for the repose of the souls of God's servants, Deacon George Kalusek, two years, Dino Bordagnotis, 40 days, Catherine Manalakis, 40 days, Dimos Tenisera, six months, Chris Jovalos, one year, and Nicholas Yokos, one year. Please pray with the church. The service is found on page 38. And, and, uh, blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The choir of saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that is lost. O Savior, call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Give rest, O God, to your servants and place them in paradise, where the choirs of the saints and the righteous will shine as the stars of heaven. To your departed servants give rest, O Lord, and forgive all their offenses. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Son and divine Spirit, Lord of universe, from the fiery eternal, the eagles to say on us on a on a me, 
where there's no pain, no sorrow, nor suffering, but life everlasting. of the righteous made perfect. Give rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants, preserving them for the life of blessedness that is with you, a lover of mankind. Oh, in your eternal peace, O Lord, where all your saints are reposing, also rest your departed servant souls, for you alone are the immortal one. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the souls of the servants of God, George the deacon, Constantinos, Catherine, Demosthenes, Chris, Nicholas, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their errors, both voluntary and involuntary. The Lord our God will place their souls where the righteous rest, will grant to them the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and their forgiveness of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, our mortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. The God of spirits and of all flesh, who has trampled down death, crushed the power of the devil, and granted life to your world, you yourself, O oh Lord, give rest to the souls of your servants, George the deacon, Dino, Catherine, Demosthenes, Chris, and Nicholas, in a place of light, a place of green pasture, a place of repose, where there is no grief, sorrow, or mourning. Forgive every sin which they may have committed in word or deed or thought, for you are a good God who loves mankind, for there is no one who lives that does not sin, only you are without sin. Your righteousness and everlasting righteousness in your law is truth. 
for you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, George the deacon, Constantinos, Catherine, Demosthenes, Chris, and Nicholas, Christ our God, and to you we ascribe glory, together with your eternal Father, your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, George the deacon, Constantinos, Catherine, Demosthenes, Christopher, and Nicholas, O Christ our God, into you we ascribe glory, together with your eternal Father, and your all of the good and life-giving Spirit, who is now and forever, and in the ages of ages. Let us pray, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. <coughs> May the blessing of the Lord in his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. <coughs> glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Holy Father bless. May Christ our true God who rose from the dead have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of the most true and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable voice powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and fallen John the Baptist, the holy glorious praise with the apostles, the holy glorious trumpet martyrs, our holy God-bearing fathers, the holy righteous ancestors, ancestors of God, the Vinana, of Saint John of the Ladder, the author of the Ladder of Design, Divine Ascent, and of Saints John, Aristarchus, Pudens, and Trophimus, the Apostles of the Seventy, whose memory of commemorating this day, and of our Father among the Saints, based on the great Archbishop of, Ka of Cappadocia in Caesarea, whose, memory, whose divine liturgy we celebrate of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Please join us for the Coffee Fellowship. If you're, welcome, if you're visiting this morning, please join us in the Hellenic Center for the Coffee Fellowship sponsored by the Ballas family and also the Kids Table sponsored by the Gallo family. Please join us for fellowship and nice repast. Tomorrow evening, Compline at 6, the fifth Wednesday of Great Lent, pre-sanctified at 6 on Friday, and the entire Akathist will be sung Friday night. Yeah, the fifth Friday of Lent, we chant the entire Akathist. We have broken it up over four Fridays, the four stanzas, but this Friday, it's about a half an hour longer, so only an hour and a half. Notice all the activities. In your book this Thursday, the Senior Lunch, Annunciation Senior League will be, has organized the Senior Lunch. Come and join us at 11 o'clock on Thursday. Also have a little music with the Sacramento Banjo Band. Only $10.
Philoptos continue to bake tomorrow morning, baking for the for your Pascha uh, treats, 9 a.m. baking tomorrow, and they're done by 3, 3 p.m. Oh, 
For his mercy endureth forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. I asked him to fill that out. Jonathan? Υπότιτλοι 